I started thinking, and I started thinking, and this is where you may have a picture that I sent you that you might be able to present. It was me at a very normal state, and I think I was in a studio. And it's just, it's it's a good showing of how I looked when I was like doing nothing, training wise. I believe with I myself. have that because let me pull it up. I got it. I put it on my IG. I got a couple pictures. I did. Yeah. Uh, and. Yeah, I think be, it's a couple one, couple, couple of them back after this. Yeah, it's like um, right around here. Yeah, and we shoot right here. This right there. Here. So that is me, y'all. When I don't do anything at all with anything upper body, especially. <laughs> so, so I was looking at this and I was kind of thinking to myself, okay, what do we do now? Because I have downsized a little bit. And I'm like, let me attempt to go back into physique. And I was like, if I'm going to do that, I need to do it on my own time frame, the way I want to do it. And so that was the start of last year's prep, starting a little bit around this time, more like April, but I lost a few weeks. And I went into that prep kind of slow and easy, wasn't even sure which date of a show I was going to make. <laughs> and finally, it turned out to be the Daytona Pro, which was at the end of September. And I flew down there not knowing what was going to happen. Nervous as all get out. You know, I've had, I at this point, I'm stage gun shy. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. Are they going to accept me back? Like, am I going to look good? Like, what's going to happen? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was very scary. So, but shocking, um, I managed to do very well. And, you know, you should have seen the look on my face when I first saw, saw the show list. And I'm like, there's, well, because it started with 22, but two of them disappeared. They didn't, they didn't show. So there was 20 girls. <laughs> so, you know, I started thinking about all the things that I, I coach my clients um, Michael felt this. No one's here but you. <laughs> you tell yourself <laughs> so that you can like not freak out. And so that's kind of like what I did. And I, I know who I was up against. I know I was up against the girl that won it last year. I knew Heather Grace was here. And the two things that I'd been in her with previously, she'd actually beat me. Um, but she's a four, three time Olympian. You know, I don't even remember how many times she's gone to Olympia, but anyway, <laughs> so we're all there and it turned out that shocking. I got pulled into first call out and moved around a bit and shuffled and to the point where I didn't know where I was. And my, my, my buddy slash, uh, team member slash, um, count, uh, sorry, company partner, um, was there with me and and I said I got off stage and I was like I was like I, I can't believe I'm in the top top five at least. I was like, I think I might maybe if I'm lucky be getting third. I'm like, but I don't know. He's like, no, you're not getting third, you're getting second. But you should be getting first. That's what he said. I said, I said, whoa, no, 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 no. I'm not getting second. I'm like, if I'm lucky, I'm getting third. <laughs> yeah, because I know a couple ladies that did that show, I interviewed that um year uh laura is the young lady laura um jackie hale um uh, also i think uh melly hoyt was that show too okay yeah you know, yeah and um yeah there was a lot know, of them from yeah, different we, countries too which is yeah. really unique because me simone she won the show have took second took third and you took second and that was your i think probably one your truly one of your best show especially for women's physique which is kind of weird because guess what I've always been the type that the first show is like my, my dust, the rust off. My, my first show is never my best. It's my second, third, and fourth. And then we do not go past fourth because if we go past four shows, we start going back downhill. Um, so it was very bizarre to me that I was able to produce such a look on top of everything that I'd been through. Um, it, it, it shudders to make me wonder if I could have kept going what I could have looked like a second one, but I just didn't have the time. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very honored to have been sandwiched in between two um, Olympians. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> so, you know, and being that close to almost qualifying. 
Um, it meant a great deal to me. It meant a great deal to me. It meant a great deal for me to have that kind of ability to, for my clients to see that anything is possible, you know, and, and being able to help coach them better because, because coaching these people and a lot of them are doing their first shows this year. A lot of them, you know, I've, I've been helping with their posing, some of which I helped get a pro card. Um, knowing where I came from and how long it took me to get to where I'm at, that brings a lot of purpose to, for me, brings me great purpose, great honor, great happiness to have taken everything that I've learned, everything that has been hard and everything that has been great and all the victories and even the losses and learn from all of that and give to these people and, and show them the way and, and make it so they have every opportunity to do great in the sport. It's, it means a lot to me. And we have a couple girls that are, are getting ready to compete in 2000. Uh, well, this year in the, in the Mike Francois and muscle realm is sponsoring that. So it's very exciting. We're going to have a booth for us again. And we have a girl that's going to be doing that show. And we hope that she does as great as we believe she has the potential to do kind of like Brie did last year, the bikini girl that won the show here in Ohio. That's called the Ohio championships. And she, that was her first show and she won the whole thing. <laughs> I, I was interview a lady. Also, we worked with Tiffany, um, yes. Burrow, Tiffany, I think she, you know, she was doing that show too. I she believe. did. She did do it. I wish I would have had Tiffany a little sooner because I would have told her, listen, uh, actually figure is going to be our best shot. So let's do that. And if I would have had her from scratch, she would have locked in figure very well, mm -hmm. but I, I didn't have her from scratch. Just like I didn't have Valerie Romer, another very predominant, very possible woman to do very well in Masters. Didn't have her from the start. Um, another little girl that's about to compete at another show that I can't attend, but she this is her first show. I am just teaching her how to do wellness. Um, I didn't have her from the start. So when you have them from the start, it's just amazing what you can get, what you can get them to to to, to do, and how well you can get them to do it's it's amazing yeah. but make a well, long story yeah well we got some more comments because i got a lot of comments to these guys <laughs> they, they, I, I keep waiting to say uh this is from johansson cooper it says looking great jada also uh <laughs> Thank you. This is from again this is from wisdom of Psycho psychology channel it says very beautiful uh this is from a man tony 97 says you seem to be multi-talented is being oh. a equestrian your favorite sport <laughs> after bodybuilding. So let's ask that. And also this is from my man, Ch my man Chad. He says, hey, 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 brother George. It's your boy Chad again, hoping all is well. I'm here to be to give a big love loyalty promise. Shout out to you, Miss Jada Beverly, aka the FBB Pocahontas. <laughs> and, and Chad Aww. also said this. He says, I'm on 30 minutes lunch break, so I'm here for a minute. I'm listening to you. Your story, Miss Jada, very interesting. So shout out to Chad, shout out to you guys. And yeah, you seem like you're really busy because I was I was like we were on her IG a while ago. I saw a picture of, of one of your looks like one of the competitors. Like she might be wellness. We'll go back here and um probably. Yeah. And she's right here, this young lady right here up top, you know, and this is who's that's Mary. How she yeah. Name? yeah, Mary. Um, uh, I think it's Zeller, Zellner. Sarah, um, uh, I always call her Mary, so forgive me, because I, I I remember we had a pony session just the other day. I said, "What's your last name?" <laughs> that's terrible, because we dual coach her. She has a coach that's doing the, her training and her nutrients, and I'm doing her posing and stage presentation and tanning and all of that. So, yeah, she'll be doing the mic fan that the booth will be going to. Um, I think up above there's a new picture of a new wellness girl. The very first picture, I think, on the list now. It well. No, I think yes, the only one here. No, it's, you have to update it. There's new ones. There's new ones to, now. Let me see. Let me update it. But anyway, um, while you're doing that, um, 
let me get in. Let me finish where we are and get into the good stuff. Um, mm -hmm. We were talking about the yeah. We were talking about the second place win at um, Daytona, which was a very good thing for me. I think it helped restore confidence. It helped restore ability in myself. Um, a lot of things that I thought was the lights were burning out <laughs> of me completely. <laughs> and and for me to act like I didn't go into that that show after everything that had been happening with me, uh, scared shitless as to what was going to happen. <laughs> I was, but I put on my best face and I just, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's very exciting, that placement for me. Okay, so the next thing that I know everyone is trying to know what's going on. Everybody was trying to take a shot at guessing what am I doing next? Where do we go from here, right? <clears throat> if they didn't accept you in bodybuilding, you certainly can't go back to figure where you came from as an amateur because that wasn't working for you because your butt's too big. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can you you're not able to win the 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 battle against your glutes and legs to shrink them down enough to do physique and actually get the nod and go to the Olympia with that. Where do we go from here? Well. And a lot of people are not going to be happy with me. But I will, in fact, be switching divisions. And I will, in fact, be competing this year on a stage sometime in August in the division wellness. She's breaking in, people. She's breaking. She dropped. She dropped. She dropped. She dropped. She dropped. She's competing wellness. She's moving over to the dark side. <laughs> Sorry, that's what she calls it. But I don't see it like that. I, it's the light side to me. I, 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 know, but you know, I don't do a lot of content on bikini. I've done some interviews with girls in figure. I've done some interviews with girls in bikini. I haven't got any wellness girls yet because, you know, I reach out to them and, you know, I know. I think I think the mindset, especially, I think they have that mentality like bikini girls. Like somebody told me, they just think they did the shit because it's a new division. But I've seen, yeah, there's quite a few ladies who's been jumping over. I mean, uh, I know yes. Debbie Carter. Yeah, Debbie Carter, she jumped over, but she went back to wellness. She went back to physique. Um, I've and, seen some, yeah. I've seen some There's other figure plenty. girls. Yeah, I've seen some other figure girls. I think with Gaffney, because she has bigger arms. And it just didn't work for her. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I've seen so, some other, a lot more. I think there's even a lady who's, who's doing bodybuilding who's switching over to wellness. And I think one girl who just got her pro card last year, who competed in bodybuilding last couple of times as an amateur, but she's going back to wellness. And I think that's Telly Aragi who uh, who won her pro card at Chicago Pro and then she did Tampa and she did okay. the Rising Phoenix. Uh, we got here some comments here. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is from Tony I said, are you focusing only on maintaining your physique now or will you bulk again in the future? Where she says she's, she's moving up so she's planning on competing. Um, also, this is from man Lawrence Perkins. Shout out to Lawrence, he's coming through, he's a fan. He says, this is good afternoon, Jada, George, and everyone on the chat. How are you all doing this afternoon? Thank you, brother. I'm doing fine. Also, <laughs> this is from uh, my man, KL The Wonder. He says, uh, what up? You know, he, thank you, brother. And also he says, hey, Jada, when do you going to do lunch? <laughs> he just <laughs> And uh, this is from, uh, we get this. From Chad, he said, you know, Chad says, you look like, you look amazing, Pocahontas. <laughs> yeah. Also, we have from Warrior. Warrior says this, he says, love to have Natalia Abraham Greer on the channel as a guest because she is the sweetest personality. And eh, that's up for debate. But if she ever wants <laughs> to come on, she's welcome. Um, also, this is from my man, uh, Tony Nice he says, Jada, you are a goddess. And we squeeze this one more in. And this is from uh, my man Tony says both men and women in the sport of bodybuilding needs to be treated fairly and equally because we are both of the human species. Yeah, well, you know, it's that's 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 great. It's great to be it's nice to be like that, but we all know the truth that men is always gonna get more money more than women, and it's just it's just a double standard of the sport. So now you're switching over to wellness. And that's like three divisions 
yeah as a pro i know right and for in my entirety of doing this it's crazy and it's like well how do you do this and it's like well first let's go back to my roots on um, everything i was doing before i hit the barefoot floors um i was doing on on heels i did pageants and heels i did I did uh, modeling in heels. I did dan I danced in heels. Yes, I danced. We'll keep that short. Um, and yes, I did. I I I was a ring girl, <laughs> heels. So um, believe it or not, and then figure for my first competitions in heels. Believe it or not, I am actually exceedingly comfortable in wearing heels, and I missed them very much the whole time I was competing in the other divisions. I I drastically missed them. Like I very much was like, where's my heels? <laughs> um another thing too um when you pose a lot and you have to be artsy about you know showing your body it also helped kind of or i had to uh kind of smother my other personality into a box and close it um because in the categories i was competing and you really can't show this other side so believe it or not i i actually have a very bouncy um energetic uh kind of like a seductive kind of flirty sexy side to me when i'm on stage and i've never been able to work a stage like that because i haven't been in a division where i can do that um so you know i've not been in a condition where you know i can I can use my hair like I can do that kind of thing. I you don't really do that in physique. You you need to actually get it up off you. And and so I did that for Daytona. I pulled it all the way up and that was a great thing for that division. Same thing with bodybuilding. You have to put it away. Um and in figure, you know, you had to constantly move it. Um, but now you can just let it do whatever <laughs> it wants to do. Yeah. yeah I think um, it's only only bikini and well zone to the division where they because they don't want to see your back. They want to see your backside, but you yes. want to see your, the details of your back right. compared right. to like bodybuilding visits right. and even figures. Because those divisions were, <laughs> especially with figures, more dominant about. The, I know the interviews with Lacey who do figure, it's more dominant about the shoulders and the back. Yeah, and you know, and you know, the back important part of back can make a play, make or break how you place at the show because you know you were it, at the, yeah. uh, New York, you with Indy with Teresa and Vasek, and she has a good back. And she just won her uh, last Olympic qualification, and you know, and if just as you know, it's more about the aesthetics of the legs and the glutes and you know yeah. and maintaining a little femininity. Here we have some comments here. 